What's the top three things you need to know about that sales order, about any customer, about a purchase? My name is Mike, and I'm gonna show you how Copilot helps you answer those questions as part of your everyday work with Business Central. Of course, Copilot is your AI assistant for work that helps you get to these insights quickly um, and figure out what's really important and urgent with your data. And it's seamlessly integrated into Business Central so you can get to these insights without having to export your data to other apps, without having your organization go through extensive AI training of AI models, uh, and without you needing to figure out, first and foremost, what do you need to prompt, what do you need to ask Copilot to get to those insights. Let me show you how this works. So here we are on the customer card. And of course, Business Central is a really rich business application packed with information. And with your extensions that you install, it becomes even more powerful. But that volume of information is sometimes hard for our users to figure out what's important and what's uh, urgent amongst all of that. So we've crafted this new space, a new stage for Copilot to present a concise and simple summary, in this case, about Alpine Ski House. And we call this the summary fact box. As you can see, he has provided three concise bullet points here. Um, they're tailored to my role, which happens to be that of a accounts receivable admin. And you can see it's, it's uh, found really important information. First of all, that this customer has an overdue amount that needs to be paid. Um, here's their payment terms and also an average collection period of 40 days that doesn't quite match up. And also some important information about the sales and the posted invoices for this customer. So it's all being summarized here in an easily digestible format. Now, this is also interactive. So I can click to drill down into any of this information. Let's try the balance here and notice what happens. As I click on the balance, it has um, highlighted the field on the page that is the source of that information. This is a fact that has come from within the Business Central database. So all of these summaries are grounded in facts from your business data. Um, let's try a different one, 40 days. Where did that come from? I'm curious about that information. Let's drill into that. And notice here how it's actually scrolled down and expanded a fast tab, which is the statistics fast tab here on the page, and in visually indicated the field that powers that insight. Average collection period being 40 days here. Now, normally I'd have to scroll all the way down to this information, expand and dig around just to compile this info that's really useful before I enter a conversation with this customer. But Copilot has done that summarizing for me. How fantastic is that? Now, those are two data points which happen to be on the same page. Copilot also gets information from related pages through your fact boxes and also through the actions and related uh, actions and things like statistics pages that are related to this uh, particular customer. So let's try the posted sales invoices, and I will go straight to my list of invoices, filter to this customer of Alpine Ski House, and they're all here for me to browse around and look at their invoicing history before I start that conversation. So we've created a way for you to really just dig into your data, explore that data, and figure out where you need to go and act uh, to make some change. And of course, if you're curious for more insights, you simply click Show More. Show More brings up the Copilot pane, and this is a great space for Copilot to present those same data points, those same insights, and then some more on top of that as well. There's a bit more space here to, to show that information. And here it is, the summary for the same customer card. You can see it's got similar information there. And this is also interactive. So even from chat, from the Copilot pane, you can actually interact with all of these summaries. But more importantly, this is a great place where you can ask follow-up questions, like let's set up reminders for our customers. So by having this information in the Copilot pane, um, you can ask follow-up questions on that data, on related data as well, or how to do things in Business Central. Now here, as you can see, we have um, some information about how to use and set up reminders in Business Central. That's great, because now I can use that next time to make sure that um, you know, my customers do pay on time. Where does all this information come from? It's from the fields on that record that you're looking at, it's from the information in the fact boxes, and it's from those related pages, especially statistics pages. Let's close out the Copilot pane. And I want to dig into that delayed payment, so let's check out the invoice, which is problematic here, and it's the one here for Alpine Ski House. Just drill into that. And even here, on the posted sales invoice, 
we also have a summary from Copilot. Now, summaries are essentially um, a way for Copilot to present information to me, and this is all information and data that I have access to. So, uh, Copilot acts on my behalf. It scours the database for this, this data um, based on my permissions, so it doesn't have access to any more information than what I would normally be able to see, and simply presents that in a very verbose format. So here I want to act on this particular invoice, you know, spoken to the customer now, and we just want to set the uh, payment method code here to, uh, they want to make a bank payment, so we'll type bank, and now we'll just okay that, and we've taken action to uh, help understand the current situation with this customer. So the last tip I have for you here is refreshing that summary. So sometimes you will make some changes to your data or you know of somebody who's made a change to that same record and you just want to get the latest summary. So for that you can use the, uh, the button up here to regenerate that summary and give you the latest and greatest. Now, um, while this summary may seem quite simple, you can certainly see the opportunity it unlocks for our future. Um, and while in preview, uh, we're focused on this, these sources of, of information, these knowledge sources, and over time we really think we can grow this into so many interesting and exciting ways to provide you a better and better 360 view of, uh, in this case, a posted invoice, but also about customers, vendors, products, fixed assets, you name it. So when you upgrade to version 26 of Business Central, you'll find this feature available no matter which country localization in your environment, no matter which language you use. So give it a try. Um, it's available everywhere. And it works also with your custom entities as well and with your custom fields on those pages. Uh, now, you can't directly extend or create your own summaries, yes, if you're a developer, uh, but there are different ways to actually influence uh, through your code those summaries that Copilot comes up with. And I've dropped a link just below this video where you can learn more about how to do that, not just for this feature, but also for other Copilot features as well. So, what are you waiting for? This is when you stop watching this video, you dive into Business Central, and you give this a try on your favorite records, on your favorite pages. Let us know how that goes. We, we love uh, to hear your feedback and your experiences with uh, Copilot Summaries. And I wish you a productive day, and thanks for watching.